This is Linux Lite, of course, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what you need to set up gaming in an Ubuntu-based system, even if you're using Ubuntu as well. Now, I personally, on my computer, which is Manjaro, um, I'm using the KDE uh, environment, um, I use Wine Staging simply because it's more cutting edge and it runs better for gaming. So after you've got all your, after you've got everything all set up as you need it, uh, there's plenty of documentation online on how to get codecs and stuff like that in an Ubuntu based system. But after you've got all of that, which I'll probably do a video on for you anyway, in case you don't know, we need if you're wanting to game on Linux, in any Linux, you need, and you're wanting to play Windows games especially, you're going to need wine or wine staging. You can even have wine bottles, but I, I've i never used them before. I've always used wine staging and it's never let me down. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to hopefully, fingers crossed this works because my old script doesn't want to know anymore. This is in 2004. This is based on Ubuntu 2004. So I'm hoping that this will install. We've also got to get Steam installed as well. Now you can either... I... Uh, yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's get this installed first. So uh, sudo d package. What we're going to do is install 32-bit drivers. Okay. So we pop our password in, and that's done. We then want to pop this lot in. It's quite a lot, and I hope to God it works, because I haven't tried this out. This is a new one. I mean, I'm, I'm gaming on Manjaro, where I've already got a script for that. Um, I could get it out of the repos, but for some odd reason, it doesn't seem to work properly from the repos in Manjaro. So I've, I've actually got a script uh, for installing Wine staging on there it's doing something i don't know what all that is uh we'll just echo it see what happens don't ask don't know what that all is do not know now of course i've themed the how out of this to how i want it i don't get what's happening there We'll just do a sudo apt update. In fact, I can put my um update update. I've got some alternatives on what to put on in, which I've put uh, I've put in myself. Um. Then we need to go, let's hope this works. Let's hope this works for God's sake, it's got her in it. Aliases, that's what I've put in. That's why mine's slightly different. Don't go doing what I'm doing on screen with me letter G and whatever. You, unless, of course, you've you've gone into your bash script and put in a load of aliases. It just saves typing or copying on out stuff. Well, it's doing something. So this must be it. Good. Good, 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 good. So this is the first part of it. So, yeah, I've kept this script. I've... Uh, Put it back on over, rewrote it on over the original script. So we've just got to wait for this to install. Um, while we're waiting, I shall tell you what I've done here. Now, on my build, on this build, I it's uh, got IC docs on it, which means that I can install whatever I want. I've got a load of SSDs. This is on a one terabyte drive. The only problem with 2004 is that it doesn't reckon in NeoFetch doesn't recognize my um, 
my graphic card, the 3060, for some reason. But in uh, 20, uh, yeah, in the 22.04 version of Ubuntu, it does. Um, I, I had to, uh, I had to install the NVIDIA drivers in order to, to be able to get a proper image, because it was just relying on Nouvelle drivers, because it didn't recognise. Even Nouvelle didn't recognise it. So, but it's all changed now. But I thought I would go through this on 20.04 because it's been out longer than Ubuntu 22.04, which is why I'm doing this. Right, we are nearly in. It's uh, nearly there. Uh, the only thing I'm finding which uh, isn't working in on here is GDebbie. I've tried reinstalling it. That's for installing individual deb files. Uh, for some odd reason, didn't want to know, so I'm having to use the um, the D package command. D package minus I, then you just put in whatever. Now, we can either install Steam via um, our repos, which is already on in the repositories here in Ubuntu, or we can go online and actually download the deb file from Steam themselves, which is what I always do. Everyone says, oh, you should really um, install it from, from the repos. Why? What's the difference? They're both the same. They both upgrade the same. So I'm going to... In oh, what I did forget to do was to, to put up the wine version that we've got. Uh, let's uh, see. This will put up the wine version. So we just uh, paste that in there. And we got 7.19. I don't know if that's the up-to-date one. It might be. It might not be. But anyway, don't matter. Cutting edge, anyway. Cutting edge is wine staging. It's before the, the final release comes on out. And uh, it... Uh, I've had no problems with wine staging when gaming in in Linux, and that's all I do. I install wine staging. All right, let's go online and get some um, Steam. Let's get Steam down. There we go. We'll go into there. Welcome to Steam. I'll, I'll bring this up a bit. There we go. Welcome to Steam. There we are on that side. Uh, there we go. Now I'm using KDE as my main drive, Manjaro KDE, and I'm really loving it. I'm going to click on Install Steam, and it all automatically reads what I'm I'm using. So we click Install Steam, and uh, it downloads the latest dev file for you if you're using Firefox. You may have it set up differently. It won't download straight away. It'll put up a sign saying, um, do you want to download and whatever, and where to save it. Okay, let's uh, just come off of there. I'm gonna open up another one of these. Oh, actually I won't. I'll go on into downloads. And I'll open it up in a terminal. Just move that out of the way so that I can copy. I need sudo dpackage minus i. And then all I do, because I'm in the download folder already, I can just put in the name of the package steam underscore latest dot deb Good. can't spell no it's my fingers latest dot deb it asks for the password of course and off it goes it's in so that's the launcher that's all that is, is just the launcher at the moment. When we click on it, of course, it's going to upgrade. What we do, come down to our menu. 
You might be thinking, well, if you're using Linux night, why aren't you using their thumbnail for the menu? I couldn't get it a good enough shape, so I, I went for XFCE one. So this is XFCE anyway, so what's the difference? I'm still using Linux Lite, so what's the difference? Hmm? Uh, yes, yeah, so what do I need? Games. Come on under here. We go into there. Press return to up. Press return. Yeah, enter. Not return. Press return is really old computers. Return. Yeah, it's like, um, like you get on a, uh, Icon Electron. Press the return key. Uh, how weird. I think enter only came around last four or five years I don't know I'll have to have a look at that anyway yeah push that pop my password in and it's going to update for us whatever you do don't get rid of that icon that's up there while it's doing this afterwards you can after you're logged in okay Press return to proceed with this installation. Okay. Off it goes, we go yes. And this will be the latest version of Steam. Okay, coming on in. It's all done, I think. And what I do is start updating it. The runtime environment for us. Take a little while to do. Now I've got a load of games. I've got me um because that's the great thing about Steam is that you can save your games or have your installation um SSD, which I've thought they're already installed, and all I've got to do is just get Steam to I've what I've got to do is just say to Steam, right, could you read off of this please? Because that's where my game installs are, and we'll be able to play straight on away. After, of course, we've set this up for Steam Play. I've never played uh, games in Linux Lite. I don't know what it's like. We shall find out in a minute. But that are those are the steps that you've got to take. Even if you're in Linux Mint, Linux Lite, Ubuntu-based systems, um, possibly the steps you have to take in Debian as well, no doubt. In normal Debian, I don't know like Buster or something. Those would be the steps, you, the, the commands that you would have to put on in in order to get that. And also, of course, with Debian, um, you have to set up non-free stuff as well. There we go. Right. I'm going to sign in. So I shall be back in a minute. All you do is just sign in with your password and whatever. And then... Right, we're back. Now, what you'll get is this password screen will come on up after you've put in your password to get into your account. Okay, so all you do here is you can copy and paste it and just go control V and off it a go. And there you go. In. No messing. Now, even if you slow down that video, right, you still would have to know my password in order to be able to get on into this. So even if you slowed that down and you wanted a free account, you wouldn't be able to anyway. Um, one, I'm already logged into it. Two, wow. Well, there you are. Right, now then, what do we do now then? Well, I wish that they would sort, the one thing that I wish that they would sort out here in Linux is the bloody fonts in, in here. Yeah? I mean, yeah, I could up my screen. Yeah, I could, I could up it, but it doesn't make this any flipping bigger. It really gets my, my goat. It really does. Now, we are recording, aren't we? I bloody hope we are. 
Yeah, we are. Good. That's all right then. Thank God for that. Okay. All right. Now, it really does get my gears, that does, I tell you, when they just like, don't up the up the fonts. Just make it so that we can zoom in. Couldn't they make that? So we push control and, and plus or something just to zoom in a bit so that we can read certain stuff just to make it a little bit bigger. I'm on a 32 inch screen and this is way too small for me. I even have to up my, my fonts here in Linux anyway. Look at the size of these. Look, I've had to up, you know, I've had to make them big so that I can read. Not because I got poor eye. Well, yeah, it is actually. It is because I got poor eyesight as well. But why are they so small? Are they fixed to? Uh, I mean, in Windows, it's just there. You can just up the fonts, and it's it's there. But here in Linux, we can't. I don't know why that is. I wish they introduced a zoom feature. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Anyway, so what you do, once you get on into here, you come up into Steam. We go on in, into Settings, of course, and we get Steam Play. Come down to Steam Play. Come down to there. You tick on there. Now, you can pick out which one you want to use. I always use Proton Experimental because it's the most up-to-date one, unless you're using Proton GE. Glorious egg rolls um, scripts. But yeah, I always use Proton Experimental because they always work. For me, they do anyway. I've probably spoken too soon now and everything I go tits up, don't I? Proof will be in the pudding, as they say. Ha <laughs> uh, We'll go. Okay, and then we've got to restart. So we've got to restart Steam. So off it'll go and it'll restart. Now, I don't know why, but Linux Lite, I don't like their update manager thing. It doesn't put up anything that it's actually updating after you've asked it to update. So I've switched that off from coming up into me in my panel. And I'm thinking, well, I might as well just update in the terminal. So much easier. A lot of people who come on over to Linux for the very first time are scared of the terminal. Don't be scared of it. If anything, it's there to help you. Yeah. Yes, it's very powerful. And yes, you can break your machine if you don't know what you're doing. But a lot of the time, people are thinking, well, I could break it if I use it. Not if you don't put the right commands in anyway. Yeah. Not if you don't know any commands. How are you going to break it if you don't know any terminal commands anyway and you're a beginner? So how are you going to break it anyway? Unless you're dumb enough to uh, put stupid commands in that can break your machine by other, by dubious websites and what have you. Okay. What we're going to do, we are going to go on into settings here, because while I was in here, what I should have done was ask for it to have, to go into Steam Libraries, and we're going to add, not that one, we're going to add that one. It's a two terabyte SSD I've got there, yeah, and it's full up with games. Well, I'm not full up with games, I've got Spider-Man, uh, uh that rat one that rat rat ratty one i got both of them on there um uh, they work well they work all right in manjaro so you know we'll add that to there then what you do you come on over to this side just left click it and you can make it default now if like me If like me, you haven't, um, you haven't got your files, as in your file manager opening up different um, hard drives automatically. Then, for goodness' sake, because I'm forever forgetting, make sure that you open your uh, hard drive before going on into Steam. 
Otherwise, you start downloading a game, it'll be going onto your hard drive. Uh, I've got a two ter- this is a two terabyte drive, so that's more than enough to play some games or to have some games installed. Now, there's four downloads that's just happened. We'll just come off of here. Oopsie daisy. That's fine. That's so all fine and dandy. We'll go okay with that. Now, what have we had downloaded? There we are. There was a there was an update to that. There was a shader pre-caching update. Oh, that's another thing as well. Always have that running in the background. Um, the pre-caching. There's nothing worse than waiting for a game. We we'll come down here to shader pre-caching and just click that. So it runs in the background. Okay. I've got a Plague Tale Innocence and I've got a Plague Tale Requiem as well. And they both work flawlessly. A lot of people having problems on the Proton DB, which is another thing I've got to install as well, which is just a quick script type thing that I uh, put together. Um, it's just a little app that I've got, I can easily do that now. We'll just come off of this a minute. You'll see me playing games in a minute. I'm just going to go into, I'm just going to go into my desktops. That's where that Steam shortcut is. There's no need for that to be in there now. Um, I can delete that, delete that away. And what I've got down here, of course, is, um, even though that ain't got the right icon on there, all we'll do is come off of Steam for the moment. We'll come off of there. For the moo. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Where are we? Where do I need to go? What I have, yeah, what I was saying was what I've got down here, I've got dock like taskbar. Yours in there. Now, even in Manjaro, you can't get that out of the bag, which is very strange because all I done was uh, putting put in an Ubuntu extra PPA and got it that way around. Well, I've also got the deb file to it as well, and they're at uh, 0, 0.4.0 or 1 or something version. But yeah, it works. It works for me. and. You can set it up however you want. This is how I work. This is how I like my XFCE. This is how I like all of my desktops, actually, is like this without any um, panels that you see. So it's all blank and they're all hidden. They're all hidden hidden away, including the, the search one as well. Usually I've got a panel up the top here, but on the gaming ones, I don't need to. I don't need to have that. Ah, uh, where are we? All music? No. Um, needed stuff for XFCE. That's what we need. Um, applications, all for Linux anyway. So you can add these to whatever one. Now, of course, uh, these are all shortcuts that I've made, apart from Clip Grab, which is an app image, which is an application. So is Caden Live. And that's the latest Caden Live, or the latest one to this date anyway. And that's the latest clip grab, 3.9.7 or 3.7.9, one of the two. Um, Netflix, of course, I've got opening up with Firefox and, and stuff like that. And it just saves on time. WhatsApp, unfortunately, I've got to use, um, unfortunately. My uh, my work colleagues back in 2019 twisted my arm to get one of those horrible, horrible mobile media bloody phones. <laughs> oh, God, I hate them. I hate them with a passion. I've seen what they do to people. They make people sweat and what have you. Don't like it. Do not like it at all. Anyway, that's a conversation for another day. What was I doing? It should be in here. Where is it? Have I not got I mean, I have Proton DB? So all I do is just copy that. Pop that into my home folder. We'll go like that. And we'll pop that into dot local share. We've already got an applications one in here, which they've made, it seems. And we'll pop that in there like that. 
Uh, it should be already activated. Good grief. What are all these in? What be all that, eh? That they've got going in here. They've already... Flipping it. So they save... Everything in there, do they? How strange. Um, okay. And then... We'll just, uh... Go to games and there there we are there's proton db and it'll open up with firefox and we'll be able to go straight there and it saves having to search around online for it by that time we could have been there already but yeah a lot of people are having problems with the new game but if you're having problems with games and you're not sure if they're running or not nine times out of ten yeah nine times out of ten if they're running on Steam Deck, they will run in normal Linux. Yeah. If they're running on the Steam Deck, and that's what I go by now. So up here, you can put whatever game you want on in there. Uh, what was the name of that one that we just had in? What was it? Uh, Plague Tower, yeah, Plague Tower. Hotel Requiem, wasn't it? Requiem. Played it old Requiem then. All right. It's gold at the moment. It's gold. And there we are. Two weeks ago, people on... Um, hmm, this game starts, but freezes just after the logos. Oh, dear. Uh, Wine GE, the people are, are relying on. I... <sighs> I don't seem to have a problem. Uh, they're using Wine GE as well. I don't seem to have a problem with it. It depends on your build, I guess. Uh, he's using a 2060 and he had to put all of this in. It's weird, isn't it? That's just fine with, without effort. Good frame, mate. No major problem. Just some shadow flickering. Really? Shadow flickering. Yeah, you see, because people want the, their games to be running at the uttermost bloody um settings for some reason. I've never, ever, ever, ever understood that. Why do you want ultra settings? Why do you need that? Why do you need it at 4K? Why do you need... Why? Why do you need all that in there? Never understood that don't need it you don't need all that and i will prove it to you in a minute but yeah like i say come on over to this site and they'll um they'll show you on what to do so and just put your name of your game up in there and it is it's verified also got spider-man as well that works absolutely flawlessly um That works straight on out the bag with uh, Proton Experimental. That's all I use. Um, that's always getting upgraded all the time um, before they do their full full release. And I'm using the cutting edge of wine staging as well because that is before that it ever comes on out. So, yeah, you know, it does work. Now let's go back into Steam. Now, hopefully this will open with a proper thumbnail this time. Please. Should do. So that I can save it. Oh, all right, and don't. Don't then. I don't care. Plague Town Requiem going to be next plague tale innocence all you got to do is just lower down lower down the uh some of the settings in there and then you won't get screen flickering or anything like that i certainly don't anyway oh something else downloading now plague tale requiem didn't it just do this it's 440.2 megabytes I'm going to plug my controller in, and we'll give that a we'll give that a go. I don't know why I'm not getting a proper thumbnail for the, for Steam at the moment. Maybe I need to restart 
Maybe I'll do that, actually. I'll, um, I'll just stop this a minute and I'll be back. Unfortunately, Linux Lite didn't want to reboot back. I do not know why. Um, so I've come into my own, uh, which is Manjaro, which is completely different, of course. It's not for beginners. Definitely not. Even even though they rate it, it's, it's for beginners. Arch isn't for beginners, unless you know your way around a Linux operating system, really. Unless you know the basics. It's not for beginners. Arch isn't. I don't care what anybody says. Start off small. Start off on, that's what I done. Started off small on an Ubuntu based system and then moved on and went on to Debian and then I went on to, then I went on to Arch. So much simpler doing it that way. Anyway, we're going to play a game. I've got to get my um, controller put on into my computer here. Um, yeah, somewhere. There it is. Whoopsie daisy. It's a wired 360 controller. Uh, I've already got the settings already set up. This is already downloaded. This is fantastic. So all I've got to do is just uh, clear that. Oh, the Steam works. Is there? I'll we'll just have that then. We'll just get that installed. Oh, it's done it. Just whooshed. Just whooshed itself down, it did. Good old. Right, let's bring that on up. Out of there. Excellent. I don't know what this message is. Let's have a look. In your inventory, really? Have a look. Come on then. If you can. Let's have a look. What is it? The twins. Really? I don't know what that's from. Hmm. Okay. Except all. Don't know what that is either. Right. Um, we'll just come off of there. That's fine. We come down to here. We come down to the steam bit down here. This is my KDE, by the way. Um, we're about to play. Now, I have it set up the same way as what I did in that Ubuntu system on Linux Lite. It's the same wine staging. Okay. I'm going to try a Plague Tale Innocence. And I'll go ahead and Launch it on up. Hopefully. Hopefully any second now. I'm recording the whole of my desktop. So. Mm -hmm. Now that might be quite loud because I haven't mucked around with the settings. But what I can do. Let's come on over to another desktop. Let's come on down to Ooh. Sounds a bit breezy, doesn't it? Um Oh I haven't got it. I haven't saved it, unfortunately. I didn't I didn't you didn't I didn't um can we show that? Hopefully. Uh, no, let me just go into here. Oh, there's already... Oh, God. I don't know what to do there, then. Oh, I have to turn the sound down manually, won't I? Oh, where are we here? I'll go back to one. There we are. Ah, here we are. Right. What I can do is just bring down the volume of that a bit. Yeah, that's better. 
Let me know if that's too loud or too quiet in the comments below, or I'll be able to see once I've stopped recording. Ha ha ha. Right. Let's bring that back down. Let's go back into here. Here it is, just there. And I'm going to load up the strangers. Oh, what shall we... Yeah. And we'll continue on that bit. I have no problem with this game. Lots of people are having problems with this game. What you've got to do is just turn your settings down a bit and you'll be fine. Really, trust me, it'll be fine. I have no problem at all with this game. Conrad lost his mind when he Look out. died. We have to burn innocent people? Chase kids? Meanwhile, the plague spreads through the village. You think it's normal to have a girl and a kid running around here with the things the way they are? I bet they came out of the church with the rest of that scum. We pick out what? Bars. Oh, which one is it then? Oh, actually. Now then, what I'm going to have to do... Well, as you can see, it's playing all right. It's playing fine. What the hell was that noise? Nothing at all. I don't get it. Oh no, not again! Yeah. Oh no. Well, where did he come from? God damn it. But there you go. You see, these games do play alright. Now what I will do is go back to the main menu. That's alright, it don't matter. I can I'll be able to get through that another day. Uh but as you can see it games do play here in Linux. If you get the wine staging in, what wine staging does is give you all the fonts and everything that you need for that game. Don't just rely on on what Proton does. If you have wine staging in, you will have everything that Windows has as well. You'll have all the fonts and everything. And when Proton is actually installed, they'll do the rest. They'll sort out the actual fonts of the game will display properly. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I think you do. Um, we'll quit the desktop. I'm sorry if that was a little bit loud. Um, but what we'll do, we'll just open up my Steam here and we'll go into, we'll go into uh, Spider-Man. All right, Spider-Man plays all right. Plays absolutely fine. Or well, it did the other day anyway. Whether we're synchronizing with Steam Cloud. And it should fire up any second. It's quite a beefy game this. But it should be alright. 
Uh, my settings should be the same as what I had before. Yeah, looks like it. And graphic wise, yeah. Fine. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and play. It always puts this up that the driver for your graphics card is below the current gate. No, it isn't actually. It's fine. This bit takes a little while to uh, come on up. Let me just come off there. I'll uh, I'll load a new game for you, shall I? No, I won't. I'll we'll go into that one. Now I have got music on, but just continue there. I don't know how far I got on this one. I have completed the game. I completed it on easy here in Linux. Should check out that silent alarm at the auction house. Yes, you should. Let's uh. Mr. Muggins, uh, if this is about the rent. Mr. Parker, this call serves as your third and final warning. Eviction proceedings. Wait, wait, I, I get paid at the end of the week. I get. Ugh. Eviction proceedings will start Friday unless full payment is received by close of business. Good day. Yeah, good day. Reports of a vehicle collision. Civilians are trapped. Officers needed in the area of Columbia. Down we go. May not be as fast as Windows. Don't know. I am losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. Need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Not going the right way, obviously not. to do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. There we go, we can take him down like that. This looks so cozy webbed up like that. And there you go, you know, it is working. And usually, like I say, if a game is working in Proton, uh, in, on the really Steam Deck... These guys aren't trying to claim Kingpin's territory. I was hoping for at least... If a game is playing on the Steam Deck, 
let it apply on your Linux. There you go. Absolutely brilliant. As long as you have wine staging in, I don't I haven't bothered with bottles or anything like that. And we go straight back to the desktop as well. There you go. I'm loving me KDE at the moment. Everything is just working on here beautifully. Um so that is it from me. I don't know if you got anything out of this. If you did, I will leave the link below well not the link but the instructions below for wine staging i'll leave them in the description below for you uh yes if anybody actually does read the descriptions anymore i don't know who knows anyway that is it from me thank you very much for watching i don't know why linux Lite didn't want to um boot back up again i i there was errors coming up all over the screen on the boot screen. I don't quite understand. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching. That's it from me. Bye for now.